We're going to use the stationary router table on this next video and we're going to use a router bit without a bearing. Sorry about that bell. Before we do, just a couple of profiles that could be done on a router. Uh, depending on the type of router bit, this looks to be a rabbit joint created, uh, actually done on a, a table saw with a dado blade, but it could be done on a router with the correct bit. And then I found a board in the lab from one of last year's project. You can see that this is just a simple round over, something that students very commonly do here in tech. So I have a board that I'm going to run through this router bit. I've already made sure that the bit is not exposed more than half. I've got the depth setting pretty well done, and that is seen here. We can loosen up, we can loosen uh, that router here, and then we can swivel this up and down to make this router bit uh, be more or less exposed. So I'm going to turn on the dust collection system, and we'll get this board started. Dust collection system is up and running. Now I'm going to create a router profile on this edge, this piece of butternut, and I'm going to work from right to left. My material is going to be against this fence the entire time. I'm going to keep my hands out away from this area. This router bit is spinning counterclockwise. That's why I always want to feed from this direction. Toggle switch is underneath the machine, so I'll find it, turn the machine on, and we'll get going. <laughs> beaded profile that it has created. Once again, depending on the router bit of your choosing, that'll dictate what that profile looks like. So that's the introduction to the stationary router.